meeting is being recorded. I don't know if you dipped in on it at all yesterday, but there was very little on television. So I turned on the Pro Bowl. All right. I can't recall the last time I ever gave it any bit of attention. It's been years. It's been years. When did they change to a two-hand touch system of game? Do you I, <laughs> it's a, wow. It's a pretty pathetic game, would you say? It's horrible. It's unwatchable. Yeah. I mean, I was going to watch it. I had nothing to do. I was going to watch it, but I, I swear to God, a minute and a half, two minutes tops, I turned it off. It was unwatchable. Yeah. It was, it was horrible. No, I mean, uh, there, <laughs> uh, I think you had the idea of doing it uh, seven on seven uh, as opposed to a regular 11 on 11. Yeah, why not? Which is a great idea. Yeah. Uh, seemingly, the big guys were in the way. You know, uh, they're trying to get out of the way. It's essentially a seven on seven anyway. I, you yeah, you see them wrong. holding each other up and everything like that. So, yeah. And there's always like that one guy, like uh, this year it was Micah Parsons, who, who uh, no, I'm, I'm going to play. Uh, or Sean Taylor several years ago, famously drilling the dude. I mean, there's always one guy, right? I think a punter, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I ain't, I ain't doing that. So let's just stop. I Look, either to me, it's like do a seven on seven thing. Or just do your skills competition, which is excellent. I mean, that, that's, that's fun and entertaining stuff. Uh, and give them a banquet. I say feed them a nice steak, a yeah. couple of drinks. And move, and, and move it back to Honolulu, by the way. And move it back to Honolulu. Like, give their family a vacation. Mm-hmm. And ESPN can go around and interview people at tables, you know? Uh, and they've had a few drinks, so maybe we get some real information. Yeah, that's good. Get... Buffalo yeah. Soldier, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, let's make it entertaining because that game is not. It's it's, it's a joke. It's a, it's a total joke. Yeah, no. So it's it's obviously the probably the worst all all star game uh, that all the leagues uh, the four major sports have. Makes no sense. And I, uh, but I understand why, you know, they're trying oh. to lay off. Uh, it's a very physical sport. Just don't have the damn game. Just do uh, more sports uh, or more uh, uh, like accuracy and all that kind of stuff. More challenges. That, that'd be fun. And yeah. I mean, absolutely. Game, so. The last thing I would want is for one of my players, one of my Pro Bowl <laughs> players to get injured in this stupid ass game. Mm-hmm. There's no way I want that. So I'm not, I'm not bitching like that i'm just bitching like why are you doing this I'm right like, so, yeah i'm completely fine if they don't have they don't play a game like an actual game right. they can play flag football i don't give a shit uh this is tr- this is basically flag football anyway right so why why go through all the rigmarole uh it doesn't make sense to me yeah I, yeah i don't even know if that i really want them on the field at all i don't want them running <laughs> I'd rather have these guys sitting down and, and, and this is important, uh, Alvin Kamara. Uh, we all need to calm down, calm down. We can have a few drinks. We can have fun, but we cannot go uh, beating someone unconscious and getting arrested. <laughs> let's just all, let's all be really cool here. Oh gosh. Not only do I, not only do I not want, my Pro Bowl player getting injured. I don't want him arrested. Okay. I don't want that either. Oh, you don't? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I didn't know you're going to go down the Kamara route. We could, we could go there. <laughs> well, yeah. here's, the, here's the thing. That's because they had it in Vegas. Okay. This, this, the Kamara. That's thing why. Happened, yeah. It happened at like 6 30 in the morning. Who's punching people? At 6.30 in the morning. i tell you where. It's Vegas. You know why? Because you haven't been to bed yet. It's not 6.30 in the morning. It's actually 6.30 a.m. the previous evening. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. That, that crap doesn't happen in Hawaii, man. That crap doesn't <laughs> happen in Hawaii. You're, you're uh, mellow. They're, they're chill, bro. Yeah, dude. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Mahalo. I mean, yeah. You're just mellow. No, no, no. 
No, <laughs> it's like the Hangover movie. Some people just can't handle Vegas, uh, and that's it's not for everybody. Look, thirty six hours is the max anyone should ever stay in Vegas. Thirty six hours, that's and it. I'm including myself uh, in that category that can't handle Vegas. Uh, not yeah, I mean, not, I mean, not look, in the Cam- not in the Camaro way, but more of the Hangover way. But yeah. Yeah, I'm not beating up anyone up, but I'm saying when I go to Vegas, um, I don't I don't hit the buffets, I don't hit the fancy restaurants. Matter of fact, uh, my entire diet consists of uh, salads. By that I mean olives, right. olives in my martinis. Those are the only thing I eat for 36 hours until I pass out on the plane going home. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, and they have uh, olives and sometimes pickles and stuff in the uh, uh, Bloody Marys. Oh, if you get Bloody Mary, yeah, you yeah, get yeah. a whole salad in there. Get a little cool. blue cheese, stuffed olives. Oh gosh, yeah. those are awesome. You know, good. It's a meal with a chaser. Sometimes with bacon in there. So yeah. uh, perfect, perfect. Yeah. So yeah, dude. I mean, the, the whole thing's stupid. It, look, it, it's it's the worst of all of them. Um, the NBA is terrible. You know, uh, why not just line the guys up on a three point line, just watch them shoot? Because that's what they're doing anyway. Or let them, you know, slam. Oh, they do that. They have the skills. That's all you need. Yeah, yeah. That's all you need. Let's just thank everybody for their service. Congratulate them on an excellent season for making the All Star game or our Pro Bowl team. Let's just thank them and again, give them a stake. Yeah, I mean, and we talked about this. They deserve it, and I'm okay with naming them to a Pro Bowl. Uh, you're talking contract negotiations, uh, bonuses, et cetera, et cetera, um, all that kind of stuff. It, not for, only for them, but for, like, GMs. They get bonus incentives for that kind of stuff. So it, that all that makes sense. It's all good. It's all well-deserved. Uh, but just put it, in, put it in writing. You don't actually have to physically play a game. And – uh, NFL specifically is the worst uh, game. MLB is the dumbest game because it actually means something. Which yeah, they put I know they're trying to dr- they're trying to drum up uh, excitement. It's like take it for what it is. It's a fucking all star game. Stop it. Yeah, right. It is what it is. It it's an exhibition. It's yes. an exhibition of your best. Why are you doing this? Right. Why are you trying to I mean, make it something got, that it's not? Because it's not that. You know, you got MLB, you might see 20 pitchers in the same game. Yeah, which is – Yeah, we're getting them. yeah. come on. Come on, man. It's, it's all a joke. It, I don't – joke is probably the wrong word. It's an exhibition, and it's a, uh, a lap around for your best players, and I get it. But it's almost humiliating, I would think, for the players to go out and do that. And that's why you get a Micah Parsons or a Sean Taylor, because they're like, I'm not doing this. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm better than that. And I, I just don't want them to feel like that. Yeah. So let's not put them uh, in that situation. You know, yeah. what if a Micah Parsons or uh, uh, Sean Taylor gets someone hurt? Yeah. Or themselves they, by celebrating. Yeah, or hurt themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because they're hitting a guy who's prone. I mean, it's, it's stupid. Well, football specifically, I mean, if you're not going full bore, uh, that's just asking for injuries to me in a sport that, I mean, if you're thinking about the way that you fall and stuff, well, if you're not falling properly, I know that sounds weird, but if you're not going the way you should be going, you're not going right. to fall properly. And then, your body's not used to that all of a sudden you just hurt a knee or something and it's just it's just stupid it's not worth it right I mean, it's like me like okay i can walk down my stairs and i'm fine but if i hear the dinner bell sometimes and i really want to get down there fast i go a little quicker and i don't know quite how to get this down the stairs like that i'm gonna hurt myself yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. the supreme athlete you are when the DiGiorno's comes to knocking right. uh that yeah. bell goes off on there. I'm yeah. there. But anyway, I think that was the bell I just heard of ending this conversation. So we're done here.